how does a repurchase agreement work? Okay, so here on the left hand side, I've got someone who's got a bond. And here on the right hand side, I've got someone with bags of cash. And so what we're going to do is the stick main on the left will sell the bond to the stick main on the right in exchange for some of his cash. The bond is going to the right and the cash is coming to the left. So the, the guy on the left, we can say, is the security seller, but at the same time, he is the borrower, right? Because he's getting the money. The guy on the right is the security buyer, but he's actually the lender of the money because he's giving the money. And this is actually a repurchase agreement because they're not only doing this transaction once, but they're simultaneously agreeing to trade back the security maybe overnight or in a week's time. So if it's an overnight trade, it's known as overnight repo. If it's a more than one night, it's known as a term repo. So it could be a repo for one week or for one month. But as, as I said, it's going to be a short term funding. So what we mean by this is I've sold the security. Then let's say tomorrow I want to buy back the security and I want to repay the cash plus some interest. And this interest is going to be governed by the repo rate, the interest rate on that short term secured loan. Okay. A repo is a secured loan because if the a borrower of the money fails to pay, if the borrower defaults, then the lender here on the right hand side gets to keep that nice little asset, which typically tends to be a high quality collateral 